Hi, good afternoon. It is Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 16 plate. Uh, Volkswagen Transporter, 2 litre TDI, uh, 180 brake horsepower, high line. Uh, this is an extremely rare long wheelbase, medium high roof version uh, with a great setup in the back. Uh, obviously, as I say, full motion, four wheel drive as well with a six speed manual gearbox. In all round good condition. Uh, I'll give you a warts and all video walk around now. Arrived in with this last night, so there's a couple of minor jobs to do to it, um, but on the whole, um, it's a great van. Um, also, just had uh, two pages of service history um, emailed over to us from the lease company, um, which confirms cam belt and Haldex fluids changes done on it already as well. Um, so, condition wise, Starting from the front, looking up there onto the roof. Roof looks all good to me. Coming down onto the windscreen, we have difficult the way that the, the, the sky is currently uh, coming off the windscreen there, but hopefully you can see there are no major stone chips to point out to you. In fact, to be honest with you, I can't see anything stone chip rise really on the windscreen anyway. Coming down onto the bonnet, bonnet has a few minor stone chips on it. Um, here's the picture of it from a distance, so nothing stand out. If we go up to it close, a few minor bits, but to be frank with you, nothing too substantial to worry about at all. Front grille, front grille is all in good condition, badges there as you would expect grill is secure passenger headlight unit uh, just been valeted a little bit of condensation in the headlamp unit at the moment I'm pretty sure it's just because we've just had a full valet done on it uh, and in the current conditions it's not unusual uh, but headlamp unit itself secure and in good condition coming down to the front passenger corner uh, really really minor mark there on the bumper a couple of minor stone chips front fog lights all in good condition but no major stone chips, nothing like that. Coming around onto the front, uh, number plates are looking a bit manky, but we'll replace those anyway. Uh, front uh, driver's side corner, again, no major scuffs on the bumper at all. Headlamp, uh, sorry, headlamp, fog light unit, really minor little bits of crazing in the plastic unit of the, head, of the fog light. Um, nothing, uh, just wear and tear of the plastic light over a period of time, that is. Drive side headlamp itself, good condition, secure as you would expect. If I video down the side of the vehicle now, nothing major. There is a little mark I'm going to point out to you in a second. One I can get my dent man on, the other one would probably require paint in order to get it sorted. From a distance you probably won't notice it, but as we do warts and all videos we like to point everything out to you. So, looking down the profile, nothing major driver's side alloy wheel again a couple of really minor marks but nothing again nothing major and as you can see you've got a good year uh, tire fitted onto there efficiency grip looks fairly recent to be fair there's certainly loads of tire tread depth left on that tire so that's all good driver's side front wing again all good driver's side mirror unit really minor chip there Mirror glass is good, unit itself secure as you would expect. Driver's side door, uh, door glass all good. We have a couple of minor chips here. We can get those T cut and touched in for you so they won't go any further at all. Now the vehicle has armor, armor plate, um, additional security around all of the locks all the way around the vehicle. So obviously this is what we're talking about here. Stop somebody punching in, trying to get uh, open up the lock from that side. Minor bits of um, scratching behind the door handle. Um, again, bit of tea cut should sort that out. I've managed to blow a load of water off on the way up here, so that's just dirt. Uh, door itself, again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Now, driver's side rear quarter from a distance looks all good, doesn't it? Um, if I go all the way over here, 
So here we've got two marks on the quarters, obviously happened at the same time. One of them here, no broken paint, left a little bit of a ding. One of them here has broken the paint and has left a scratch and a little bit of a ding. All easily sortable. Um, easily, <laughs> all sortable I should say. Um, so they are there at the moment. But cosmetically that's the, the only major thing on it. Um, nice shine to the paintwork as well, which is always nice to see because um, it actually shows that somebody has kept on top of the paintwork. Uh, going down the driver's side of the vehicle from the rear, again, hopefully you can see a nice straight vehicle that it is. Driver's side rear alloy wheel, again, really minor marks on the wheel, but nothing major. Uh, again, what we got there, Dunlop tyre on this side tyre itself loads of tyre tread depth on there as well uh, mud flaps as well so it's got front and rear mud flaps those aren't standard they are an additional extra um, so again nice to see they've thought about protecting the vehicle uh, drive side rear bumper corner no major scuffs uh, this little mark here and I think is that a bit of dirt there that is a little bit of dirt there so get that teacup up and touch it in for you door hinges on the back not in bad condition either. Rear light unit this side, all in good order. There you go, T32, 180, four motion. High line, got a couple of work lights fitted up here. Uh, look to be LED units as well. High level brake light here. And rear barn doors on the back, as you can see. Now, they, this is, uh, let me see, never believe the word of a van dealer. Um, this is the second area that uh, actually I've found um, which needs rectifying. So <clears throat> we have a little bit of corrosion here on the edge of the handle. Um, we will get that cleaned up and repainted. It's obviously chipped at some point or something to do with getting this little thing fitted to it on the security. Um, and uh, it's caused it to uh, corrode. So we'll need to go into the paint shop for that, but we will get that sorted out on it for you. No major dents or dings, couple of minor chips around the edges, but again, we can get that sorted. Uh, genuine rear uh, Volkswagen rear bumper protector fitted to it. Obviously, as you can see on the video there as well, it has reverse parking sensors fitted to that vehicle. And rear doors, uh, they are the, what do they call it? The 180 style of rear doors. So you can unclip them here and uh, Increase the opening even further but opening up the inside of the rear doors hopefully you can see on the insides nicely protected and in nice condition yes there's minor marks but nothing too untoward um, in the back of the van um, got a nice hard wearing flooring fitted in the back um, and some lovely racking so sort of oil uh, globalist racking system we have power for your lights here um, and you've got all of these different types of we'll get in in a second and uh, show you all the different sort of drawers and stuff right we have an ebus spacker handy wash um, open this up here uh, it would appear that you have a hot and a cold uh, there is a button in the front to turn this on as well so i would assume you get hot water from there a uh, little water tank there for you as well a uh, little uh, hand roll holder by the looks of it there um, and getting into the van so you've got lovely bits of racking on top here you've got these little drawers let's just lift up and pull out yes we will get them cleaned out for you look good to see they've picked up on that um, drawers really nice drawers to be fair plug socket here and plug socket here we have a inverter here a little bit of additional storage over the top of your bulkhead uh, even more storage here so it is really quite a nice setup we have additional into here so all of this just fits really nice, doesn't it? 
and oh, that one opens up that way. There we go. So, really nicely racked out in the back. I dread to think of what that would have cost to get done new. Right, passenger side of the vehicle. Rear light unit's good. Door handles are good. We have a little bit of a mark here, which I think can probably be T-cut and touched in. Uh, driver's side, rear bumper corner, all good. Looking down the profile of the van from the roof all the way down. Nice and tidy. No major dental dings, as I say. Oh, you've got a really small one on your fuel flap. I don't think there's anything we're going to be able to do with that one but it's very very minor but i'd rather point it out to you this alloy wheel here is missing its center cap we will get one ordered up from volkswagen and fitted on it for you alloy wheel itself is in good condition uh, with a dunlop eco drive tire which is the same as the one on the other axle over there and again looks to have plenty of tread depth on there uh, passenger side rear quarter both the roof upper quarter and lower quarter all in good condition passenger side sliding door upper lower and roof again all in good condition and passenger side door glass the door itself upper lower all in good condition mirror unit this side again secure and all in good order armor plating on your door handles as well and then passenger front wing again all in good order alloy wheel minor marks but nothing major and a good year efficiency grip on this side which matches the axle on the other side as well again looks the same as the other one so um, being full motion i would imagine they've changed them all at the same time entry steps this side plastics etc all good we have fire extinguisher eye wash hand cleaner stuff first aid kit here um, and these really nice drawers here these come out quite far so really nicely specced in the back of the van going into the front passenger door card clean and tidy no major signs of abuse uh, entry step etc all good it has been run with a rubber mat in the front so the flooring underneath this rubber mat is in good order as well we have had it out and cleaned it dashboard itself clean and tidy doesn't look like it's had any work boots on the top of it or anything uh, seating bulkhead light um oh crikey ceiling that's not the right word is it headlining that will be the one headlining's in good order Obviously factory bulkhead, factory seating, all of this here, nice and clean and tidy. You can flip open this seat here and we have additional storage space and by the looks of it, another plug socket there as well, look, that's handy. Um, so seating's in good order on the passenger side. There is a repair to be done on the driver's side of the vehicle. I will show you that now. It's not uncommon on the T5s or T6s. So we have wear on the driver's seat bolster here. You hit it every time you get in and out of these vehicles. We will get that repaired and replaced for you. You won't be able to tell it's been done. Uh, we might even have some standard ones in stock from the conversion side. So um, yeah, we'll get that repaired. Um, captain's chair, so you've got armrests on both sides. Um, entry seals and plastics again. Plastics have seen obviously some action of boots getting in and out but pretty bother replacing it's pretty good condition door card itself again clean and tidy not no real signs of abuse electric windows and electric heated mirrors here automatic headlights we have DAB stereo with Bluetooth telephone and music let me just turn that off a second um, so nice unit there we have stop start technology we have heated front windscreen we have air conditioning uh, we have the six speed gearbox here we have lights down here to turn on your rear lights and your hand wash basin in the back um just trying to see clean and tidy in between your seats 
So a leather multifunction steering wheel. Your computer system is operated on this side here and volume uh, controls, etc., are on this side. Cruise control on this stalk here. Say so driver information system on it as well. Oh, let me just fire up the van. I need to have my foot on the clutch. So it fires it up. Does a sweep of the dash. Uh, warning lights are on at the moment. Tell us that the handbrake is on and I haven't got my seatbelt on. Um, and obviously it's just telling us that there's a door open as well. So it ticks over nicely. I will quickly open up the bonnet seat and have a look underneath. So cabin wise, nice and tidy. And then under your bonnet. So T6s have your hydraulic ram for keeping your bonnet open. Cool at level here and it's uh, the original uh, bog type of coolant and it's the right colour that it should be. And underneath the bonnet itself, clean and tidy, ticks over nicely. There we go. Uh, what can I say else under here? Wing bolts, bonnet bolts, uh, rather crusty, there's any signs of the uh, panels being off on the front end and there we go so just to quickly recap it is a one keeper from new it has been on lease with alphabet alphabet leasing is owned by bmw motor group um, and um i'll say it's a one owner 83,000 mile vehicle um with a full maintenance print everything that's ever been done on it quite an impressive maintenance print on it to be fair lovely specification 180 brake horsepower two litre bi turbo uh, six speed manual gearbox uh, euro 5 van uh, with the lovely racking in the back of it as well condition wise looks uh, apart from the two the, the few minor bits that we pointed out to you uh, is in uh, all in good order and as i say when it comes to the other bits um, we can get those uh, sorted out for you as well uh, any other queries feel free to get in touch i am simon my company is vans today we're based in worcester in the center of the country and you can contact me on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com uh, appreciate the fact you made it through probably one of my longest videos nearly uh nearly 18 minutes worth of me droning on about the van but hopefully it gives you a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying uh, thanks very much and feel free to get in touch if we can be of any more help cheers